You're watching the news on Bahrain Television. I'm Hamid Shaban. Good evening. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa sent a cable of congratulations to the newly elected President of the United States, Donald Trump, expressing his pride in the kingdom's historical ties with the U.S., which extend back to more than 120 years. He also expressed Bahrain's keenness in reinforcing its strategic relations with the United States. His Majesty wished Trump success in leading the United States and the American people further progress and prosperity. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, sent a congratulations cable to the newly elected President of the United States, Donald Trump, wishing him continued success. His Royal Highness also hailed the relations between Bahrain and the U.S. and stated joint aspirations to further enhance these relations in various fields. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa also sent a cable of congratulations to the newly elected President of the United States, Donald Trump, wishing him continued success. His Royal Highness also expressed Bahrain's aspirations to reinforce the historic relations between the two countries and to enhance bilateral cooperation. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa met today the Crown Prince Pavlos of Greece at Rafa Palace. His Royal Highness highlighted Bahrain's robust economic environment which is structured and built upon a modern regulatory framework. His Royal Highness added that this framework forms a key pillar of Bahrain's economic development and continues to successfully attract various investments. His Royal Highness then discussed the Kingdom's ongoing cross-sector diversification drive which has been boosted by public-private partnerships and underscored how these efforts have strengthened Bahrain's economic position. The Crown Prince concluded by welcoming the Crown Prince of Greece to the Kingdom of Bahrain, extending him best wishes for the successful visit. Crown Prince Pavlos of Greece expressed his gratitude for the opportunity to meet with His Royal Highness. The Supreme Council of Health concluded a joint workshop with the World Bank today on the implementation of hospital autonomy. This comes as part of the Council's initiatives to set the appropriate infrastructure for the implementation of the National Social Health Insurance Program, Sahati. More details in this report. A high-level workshop was organized by the Supreme Council of Health on Monday in coordination with the World Bank to highlight the supportive guidelines for the implementation of the Social Health Insurance Program, Sahati. The program aims to develop the quality, sustainability and accountability of the health services provided to the citizens. The Sahati program, actually, as I said, it is the national health insurance uh, program and actually the most important thing actually is to work on quality, uh, sustainability uh, and uh, you know efficiency of the system. That is the main of, of, uh, you know uh, messages that we are trying to do in this, and that's actually the main important point to actually to split between the uh, the provider and the uh, governor or the uh, you know organizer. That is one thing, and the other thing is to create a purchaser and a provider. So the, the provider actually sells the purchaser, and the purchaser actually uh, makes the insurance on the people and the expatriates. The three-day workshop involves a number of seminars and group activities conducted by World Bank experts and catered towards the teams formed from the different entities involved in the implementation of the program. These include teams from primary health care hospitals, secondary health care government facilities, the Ministry of Health, the Civil Services Bureau and the Ministry of Finance. I, I think uh, it is very important to understand uh, the difference between when we talk about insurance system and social insurance system. You know, in Arabic, the wording is, 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 is clear. When we say Raman, we mean that we assure people that we'll deliver a kind of services. To the Bahraini, he will not pay, and I stress that he will not pay for the basic services, which are the, the main important services that they are getting now and probably plus. What kind of differences that citizens will see, the Bahrainis, 
it is that we are we will be monitoring now from now on the real quality that is used will make sure the sustainability is there accessibility availability Cabinet has endorsed the National Health Plan in October for the years 2016 to 2025. Sahati, or the Social Health Insurance System, is an integral part of this plan, along with a number of objectives that aim to improve the healthcare industry and services in the kingdom. The Interior Minister, Lieutenant General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, received today Pakistan National Assembly Speaker Sardar Ayaz Sadiq and his accompanying delegation in the presence of the Deputy Interior Minister, Chief of Public Security, and the Ambassador of Pakistan to the Kingdom. The Interior Minister welcomed the delegation and praised the bilateral, deep rooted brotherly relations, asserting the importance of such meetings and enhancing bilateral cooperation. He briefed the Speaker of Pakistan National Assembly the role of the Interior Ministry in maintaining the security, order, and safety of the people of Bahrain. He expressed appreciation of the role of the Pakistani community and their contributions in maintaining security and support of the march of progress in the kingdom. The speaker expressed his thanks and appreciation to the interior minister, hailing the bilateral brotherly relations, affirming Pakistan's full support to the kingdom of Bahrain. The meeting also included discussions of topics of common interest and ways of bolstering cooperation and coordination. The Minister of Education, Dr. Majid Naimi, announced that the Gulf Cooperation Council's Arab Center for Educational Research has chosen the Kingdom of Bahrain to host the International Educational Conference to be held in April of 2017 in recognition of the Kingdom's leading role in the development of educational services on regional and international levels and the numerous successes in embracing major events in various fields. Participating in the conference are a group of international expert educators from Europe and Korea, as well as the GCC. The Minister of Education's announcement came in the GCC Arab Center for Educational Research meeting for the Board of Trustees, attended by Director of the Center, Dr. Sleiman Ibrahim Al Askari. The meeting discussed a number of the educational issues of mutual interest, including Bahrain's experience and the application of the digital empowerment in education in public schools, which received praise and appreciation as a pioneering experience in the Gulf. Dr. Naimi expressed the Kingdom's pride in hosting such an event, affirming that the Digital Empowerment and Education Project is an advanced level of His Majesty's King Hamad Future School Project as it contributed significantly to the employment of information and communication technology in the teaching and learning processes. For his part, the Director of the Arab Center for Educational Research praised Bahrain's keen interest in the Center's activities, emphasizing the steps made by the Kingdom in the field of educational services quality improvement, as well as the provision of education for all, which won praise in many international reports. The Electricity and Water Affairs Minister, Dr. Abdul Hussein bin Ali Mirza, patronized the official inauguration of the Arab Cab Conference under the theme Product Dumping and Cable Industry, held in the Four Seasons Hotel with the participation of over 100 people from Bahrain and other countries. Present were the head of the conference's organizing committee and the chairman of the Arab Cable Manufacturers Association, ACMA, dignitary Hamad Rashid Zayani, a number of high officials and specialists. Dr. Mirza delivered a speech where he welcomed the audience and congratulated Zayani for for being elected recently as chairman of the ACMA. He also thanked the organizers of the conference and said that Bahrain to be the venue for the conference for the second time reflects the kingdom's leading role in attracting scientific, economic and cultural activities. The minister stated that this conference is a model of the productive cooperation between cable and wire makers in Arab countries and that it aims to attract Arab expertise in order to develop the technologies of making cables and electronic gadgets. The conference also serves as a meeting to exchange expertise and review the latest developments in the electrical cable industry. The Arab Cab meeting is one of the biggest industrial gatherings in the Middle East. Since its establishment in 2004, Arab Cab has held 11 conferences in Europe and throughout the Arab world. It comprises of companies that manufacture electric and phone cables, as well as machines and tools used to manufacture cables. Uh, choosing Bahrain to host this uh, specialized uh, electrical, electrical cables conference is very important and shows the success of the government of Bahrain in attracting all types of conferences and exhibitions in Bahrain. And this is something which uh, Bahrain has been working on for a long time. So in this case the cables electrical cables of course is a very important element in all electricity networks 
The Bahrain Tourism and Exhibitions Authority unveiled its theme, Our Country is Your Country, at the 37th World Travel Market 2016 exhibition taking place in the British capital, London, as part of its efforts to enhance the kingdom's tourism status, both regionally and globally. The exhibition was held at the Excel Centre in London and is considered the premier world event in the travel industry. The exhibition receives each year more than 5,000 exhibitors from 182 countries and includes more than 50,000 senior officials and professionals in the field, as well as government ministers and representatives of the media and the international press who visit the exhibition to meet and make deals and discover the latest ideas and trends in the international travel market. The exhibition generates a travel sector with contracts worth more than £2.5 billion every year. Good evening and welcome to the Business News on Bahrain International. I'm Barab Abdullah and let's start with the stocks. Bahrain All Shares Index has closed at 1,145.53 points, marking an increase of 1.26 points above the previous closing. This increase was due to the raise in investment and sector services. Results indicated that 27 equity transactions took place with a volume of 607,515 worth 103,774 Bahraini dinars. Results indicated that one equity bonds took place with a volume of 36,500 or 36,500 Bahraini dinars, representing 26.02% of the total value of securities traded. Investors traded mainly in the commercial bank sector, representing 35.36% of the total value of shares traded. The Central Bank of Bahrain, CBB, announced that the issue of a seven-and-a-half-year government development bonds has been fully subscribed by 500%. Subscriptions were 285 million Bahrain dinars were received for 285 million Bahrain dinars issue, which carries a maturity of seven-and-a-half years. Expected to interest rate on the issue, which begins on 12th, I'm sorry, 11th of November 2016 and matures on 10th of May 2024, and 5.875%. The government development bond are issued by the CBB on behalf of the government of the Kingdom of Bahrain. Under the patronage of the oil minister Sheikh Mohammed bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, a cooperation agreement was signed between Bahrain Petroleum Company, Babco, and Tatwir Petroleum Company on one side and any of Italy on the other side to study the assets, potentials of some exploration and production assets in Bahrain. At the end of studies, Bahrain's authorities and any will evaluate together the possibility of future initiatives in the kingdom with a view to cooperate for future developments of the country's energy resources.